In this video, we are going to see about the response of over damped second order system for unit step input. So, we know the standard form of closed loop transfer function of second order system is C of s divided by R of s equal to omega n square divided by s square plus 2 eta omega n s plus omega n square. And also, eta less than 1 means we can say it is a under damped system. Eta equal to 1 means we can say it is a critically damped system. Eta equal to 0 means we can say it is a undamped system. It means there is no damping in the system. If eta equal to greater than 1, we can say it is a over damped system. So, here eta value is high, very high. It means greater than 1. So, for this, first we have to find the roots. We know this is a quadratic equation. For this, if you want to find the root, we have to use this formula minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So, from this, s square coefficient is a, a equal to 1. This is b, 2 eta omega n is b, c is constant, c equal to omega n square. So, we have to substitute into this equation. So, b is 2 eta omega n minus b plus or minus b square minus 4 into a value 1 c value omega n square divided by 2 into a. So, now from this we can take 4 omega n square from these two terms we can take outside. So, this will be same. After this we can from this term we can take 2 into omega n outside. It means here square root of 4 omega n square is 2 omega n. So, from these two terms, 2 is common, we can take outside, that we can cancel with this 2. So, this is the final. Minus eta omega n plus or minus omega n into 1 eta square minus 1. Omega n into is eta square minus 1. So, we know this is S1, S2. So, we know S1 plus SA s2 plus sb equal to 0. This is the characteristic equation. From this equation only, we have to find the roots like this. So, we have to construct this into like this equation. So, from this s equal to s1 equal to minus sa, s2 equal to minus sb. Therefore, s1 equal to minus eta omega n plus omega n into square root of eta square minus it means minus of this term. This is S1. So, next to minus of minus omega eta omega n minus omega n into square root of eta square minus 1 equal to S2. This is next term. Therefore, so this we can consider as S1. This we can consider S2. So, instead of this characteristic equation, we can write S1 or S plus S1 into S plus S2. So, we can write the equation into like this. C of s divided by R of s equal to omega n square divided by s plus s1 into s plus s2. So, we can write like this. So, now, so now from this response C of s equal to R of s into this term. So, now this is not a standard form. To apply Laplace inverse transform to get the response with respect to time. So, to this is response with, with respect to s. If you want to get response with respect to time or response in terms of time, so we have to apply partial fraction for this. So, this is not a standard form to directly get, apply the Laplace inverse. Therefore, for this term, we have to apply the partial fraction. Here, we see there are three, yes, three poles. There are three, three roots in the denominator. So, we can apply partial fraction. For this, partial fraction will be for first root A divided by S. For second, b divided by s plus s1 for third c divided by s plus s2. Now, according to the partial fraction concept, a equal to c of s, this term c of s into first, first constants denominator s and its value. Here there is no, there no term, therefore s equal to 0. c of s we have to substitute here. So, from this s will get cancelled. So, now we have to substitute s equal to 0. So, now it, we will get if we substitute s equal to 0, both will become 0. Finally, omega n square divided by s1 into s2. This is a. So, now we have to substitute s1, s2. We know s1 equal to this. s2 equal to this one. Here plus, here, here minus, here plus. So, now we, if we multiply, 
we will get we have to multiply these two we will get this term then we have to multi we see this is like a minus b into a plus b so we can say a minus b into a, a plus b equal to a square minus b square so now a is this one b is this one therefore a square minus b square so we have to multiply this into inside so from this we will get this is minus this is plus term it will cancel so finally omega n square divided by omega n square a equal to 1 so next similarly we have to apply the same concept so now for b it's b's denominator equal to s plus s1 here s equal to s plus s1 equal to 0 therefore s equal to minus s1 so we have to substitute c of s value then this s plus s1 s plus s1 will get cancel so finally omega n square divided by now from this s equal to minus s1 we have to substitute s equal to minus s1 here this, instead of this it will become minus s1 this s will become minus s1 therefore omega n square divided by minus s1 into minus s1 plus s2 now we have to substitute s1 value and s2 value here s1 so first we can substitute minus s1 it means s1 value here minus is available therefore after substituting s1 value we have to multiply minus this this will become like this so now from these two we see these both are plus therefore this term and this term will get cancelled so therefore here omega n into square root of eta square minus 1 here also some term if we add it will become 2 omega n into square root of eta square minus 1 so numerator will be same this minus we are going to take into numerator side therefore here plus therefore b equal to minus omega n square divided by s1 into 2 omega n into square root of eta square minus 1 or we can say minus omega n divided by s1 into 2 this square and this omega n will cancel so therefore minus omega n divided by s1 into 2 square root of eta square minus 1 similarly by applying the same rule we can calculate c c equal to c of s its denominator c of s into its denominator its s value s plus s2 equal to 0 therefore s equal to minus s2 so now we have to substitute c of s value this is c of s value so now this term and this term will cancel finally we will have omega n square divided by s into s plus s1 so now s equal to here s equal to minus s2 therefore if we substitute s equal to minus s2 from these two term we will get minus for this s for this s minus s2 for this s minus s2 so now we have to take this minus into numerator side so we can keep s2 as it is instead of s2 inside and s1 inside we can substitute its value we know what is s1 and s2 we can substitute here minus available therefore we have to multiply s2 term with minus it will become like this from this this is minus term this is plus term it will cancel this is minus omega into square root of eta square minus 1 this is also same term if we add these two we will get minus omega n square divided by s2 into minus 2 eta omega n square root of eta square minus 1 so this minus will cancel this omega n and this square will cancel finally we will have omega n divided by s square into 2 into eta square minus 1 so far we calculated a value b value and c value so now we have to substitute after calculating a constant a b and c we have to substitute into response equation c of s equal to a divided by s this b divided by s plus s1 plus c divided by s plus s2 this is now a equal to 1 b equal to this entire value entire term c equal to this entire term so now after this what we are going to do we will keep this as it is we are just this is denominator this is also denominator so now we are going to write this constant into 1 plus 1 divided by s1 into 1 divided by s plus s1 similarly we are going to write this into this so now this is constant this is also constant so now s1 also constant s2 also it means this part is constant 
this part also constant. Now we are going to apply Laplace inverse for this 1 by s, 1 by s plus s1, 1 by s plus s2. If we take Laplace inverse transform for C of s, 1 by s, 1 by s plus s1, 1 by s plus s2, we will get the response in terms of time. Laplace inverse transform of C of s equal to C of t. Laplace inverse transform of 1 by s equal to 1. Laplace inverse of 1 by s plus a is nothing but e power minus a t. Here a is s1, therefore minus s1 here. Laplace inverse of 1 by s plus a equal to e power minus a t. That is formula. Here a equal to 2, therefore a equal to s2. Here we have to substitute s2. So from this we can take omega n divided by 2 into eta square minus 1 term here and here is common. We can take it outside. Inside will be this. So now we can say we already know this is the final response here s1 equal to this term s1 equal to this term. So now finally closed loop over damped second order system unit step response equal to this term step response equal to we have to multiply gain with this term. So now this is the step input for the second order over damped closed loop system its response is like this. So various value of eta into this equation we will get this response. From this response we can say no oscillation but takes time to settle. We see from this depends upon the eta value it will take some time to settle. This is the settling area.